Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. In tonight's video, we are going to deploy a prepared application into a standalone WebLogic server. And you can see that I have my um, application here. In my last video, uh, which I will reference, we prepared it, made all the settings. So I won't go over that. You can see that video. But what we do want to do is export this application because who knows what's in here as far as SVN files. And we want to make sure that our your file is clean. So uh, what I'm going to do is click on the application so that I get the very highest level and then come up to versioning and then export files. I'm going to do C temp and make sure that it's at the very highest level. If you actually have clicked on the view controller, then you will only export that part. So you want to make sure that you're exporting it. We're going to close this application. OK, here we have the application in our C temp directory. And we'll open it up. And it's probably a good form to actually make sure that it runs. So um, I'm going to do that. Um, I'll turn off the video, no need for you to watch. Although now that I think about it, I did make a change that would probably make any application not run. So let's go to Application Properties and quickly go to this directory under Deployment, the WebLogic. And we need to have all of these selected for um, running on a local integrated server. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, let's just uh, rebuild. And wait. Okay, I was able to log in and I can see both of my tables. So we need to go back to the application module and um, take this, this, and that off because we're going to deploy it into a web, web logic server. Okay, we're going to take a quickly, quickly take a look at web logic um, and I want to just go over several things. One, this is a test WebLogic server. This WebLogic server has actually been created using the integrated WebLogic server software that comes along with JDeveloper when you install it. However, I have created a separate standalone WebLogic domain. Two, the users and groups have been designated manually which is often not the case. Often you would have an LDAP service integrated into WebLogic and users and groups would be defined there. So this is a fairly unnatural setup. The other thing is, is um, WebLogic often has uh, both the admin server, which is kind of the big umbrella, and then has an enterprise manager service running also where applications are actually defined. Now I have another video on, on setting up WebLogic server, so please look at that. And there's some documentation that it also refers to. So here we have it. I'm just going to very quickly go over it. Let's go over the security realm. You click on uh, My Realm at the very bottom, and then you go to My Realm and Users and Groups. You can see that we have Doug and we have Stuart. Doug is, a, we put the password in, and he's the member of the manager group. And if we click here to users and groups, we can get back and go to Stuart. You can see that he's got a password, and, well, you can't see that, but, and here's the ER user. Okay, now let's go back. We have the data source also. It's HRDS, and you can see that the Jindy name is there, and the target is admin server. So that is our WebLogic server. OK, we are ready to prepare this for deploy deployment. So we are going to go at the application level. And we're going to sit here. Oh, you know what? I forgot one thing. We need to set up the application server, because that is not listed here. This is the integrated WebLogic server. And that is running, which is why I'm able to click on it and actually see some things there. 
But what we need to do, if you don't see the application server navigator, you can get it from here. Okay, you click on that and you get this. So what we need to do is actually add an application server. I'm going to click standalone and we'll just call it base domain, which is what it is. And put the password in. This one is base domain and I always test it and it's always nice to see this. If you failed somehow, sometimes um, I forget to put the, um, the name in and this one will fail. <clears throat> but it then tells you what the actual name is, which is very nice. And that's it. So we have that now. Now we can do the application and my apologies for getting that out. So we're going to deploy to an application server. You can also deploy to ear and then manually import it from WebLogic, but we'll do it this way. And you can, <coughs> excuse me, see that my base domain is there. And if it's there, it'll overwrite the name. So finish. And this is the point where I start praying. Now you'll see down here often, you will see a deployment window open up and I don't see it. So I'm going to see if my log window will help deploy that and show that. So it looks like it created the war, which is the um, view controller. And then it created the tester um, ear file. And this will take a minute. Okay, and we can actually um, go over to our deployments section here over on the left and click on deployments and you can see that the deployment is running. Still running in JDeveloper also. It does take a minute or two. Okay, it's always nice to see deployment finished. Now, one of the nice things you can do, um, let's go over to our WebLogic server here and open up this application here. Now you'll see that this web application has 7101. And if you look at the WLS server, it's 7001. So all you have to do is change that to a zero and then press enter. And it'll automatically go to the new server where we can then uh, pray here. <laughs> Log in and see if our setup worked. And it's always nice when it pauses here because that indicates that it's thinking and it didn't immediately find an error. So it looks like it worked. That one, uh, the manager has access to both. I'm going to see that the other user, me, has access to just the top video or top uh, table. So let's quickly go over that. Now, what we did was we had an application that was ready uh, with all of the settings for deployment created. And the most important one being um, under deployment, web logic here, these guys, these are very important, but some of the other ones that you, um, that you have, <clears throat> excuse me. Then we um, exported the application so that we don't have any SVN files in this directory. We ran it to make sure that it actually worked. And um, then we did the deploy to the application server. And we also set up the application server over here on the right. You can actually see some things here. Now, this one is going to list a lot of the libraries, but somewhere in here is the application that we loaded. Here it is. And um, you can do some, you can look at it and see what's in there. But you can also undeploy it and start and stop it from here. So this is quite helpful. Um, and then running it, we just changed the uh, URL from the 7101 to 7001. And we're, <coughs> we're able to test it properly. So that is how to deploy an application. I hope that was helpful. Have a great evening.